The La Palma landslide can trigger a massive tsunami that could pose a threat to millions of people. Hearing the word tsunami, surely everyone will get goosebumps. The tsunami not only claimed many lives, but also left deep trauma for the victims. That's why researchers warn. The La Palma landslide could pose a threat to millions of people in Europe and along the east coast of the United States, US. The reason is, millions of tons of rock will fall into the Atlantic Ocean and cause a mega tsunami or large tsunami. Just to note, La Palma is an island in Spain. This island is located in the Atlantic Ocean, precisely in the Canary Islands, Spain. In 2013, the island had a population of 85,225 people in an area of 708.32 square kilometers. The island has a population density of 122 people per square kilometer. The largest city on the island is Los Llanos de Aradane with a population of 21,145. Starting September 19, 2021, Mount Cumbre Vieja will experience volcanic activity with lava eruptions, earthquakes and volcanic smoke. 5,000 lives were evacuated. There were no casualties, but all the houses were damaged. Lava gushes out of fissures in La Palma's Cumbre Vieja volcano and flows down the mountain and through villages. Bursts of red and hot liquid and ash were thrown into the air, the lava destroying everything in its path. Villages, schools and hundreds of houses were scorched before the lava reached the sea ten days later. The volcano has now been erupting for six weeks, the last of which spewed large amounts of ash onto the island. According to data from the European Union Satellite Monitoring Service, a total of 2,400 hectares of land have so far been covered. La Palma itself has a long history of volcanic activity. La Palma has erupted eight times since Spain began recording its activities in the 15th century. In addition, the risk that accompanies volcanic eruptions is landslides, something that is common on newer islands like La Palma. That possibility was explored during the Naked Science documentary, Landslides. In the documentary, the narrator underscores, a landslide from this mountain could kill millions of people in Europe and along the east coast of America. Just to note, Geologically La Palma is a baby who has just passed his 4 millionth birthday. It is known the eruption formed a steep-sided cone with a thick layer of ash around it, large hills of residue that looked ready to collapse. Geologist Bill Maguire of University College London, UCL, claims gas pressure could build up in future eruptions in exposed islands along the fault line that stretches across La Palma. Maguire and other researchers have traced the fault line for at least 9 miles, and believe that if the crack opened, 500 billion tons of rock would slide thousands of feet underwater. This will happen in a future eruption, there is no doubt about that. The problem is, eruptions sometimes happen every 20 years, sometimes every 200 years, he added in the documentary. According to his research, the parachute would reach speeds of more than 220 miles per hour. The volcano would begin to break into small pieces. At that point, the landslide moved something like a half mile of water that would rise above your head, and it would probably be the last thing you'll ever see. He believes the impact of the rock on the ocean would have created a water dome nearly 3,000 feet high and possibly bigger than Manhattan Island. Geologists claim it would also create a coastal tsunami that would be at least as destructive as the one that hit the Indian Ocean. The massive amounts of energy pumped into the ocean will create what scientists call a mega tsunami, with waves traveling in all directions.
computer predictions suggest the tsunami could have traveled up to 4,000 miles to the east coast of the U.S. While the waves will lose some of their strength along the way, McGuire describes the catastrophic conditions crossing the Atlantic Ocean to the east coast of North America. However, the water itself will not move completely. Individual particles in the water will send energy to each other, he explained. 